that's what most people hear when they cycle. But this is how it sounds to Yvette Jendreisig, a dull rumble. In traffic, her impairment could mean the difference between life or death. With a hearing aid, it's easier for me to hear cars that drive up behind me. It's safer. But nevertheless, stereotypes persist that hearing aids are just for fuddy-duddies. That's an outdated image. In the past, hearing aids used to be a lot bigger. Nowadays, they're much smaller. You can hardly see them. Most people don't even know I have one. These two businessmen sell hearing aids made by different companies. The devices are often only as big as a bead and cost up to 2,800 euros. With life expectancy growing and an ageing demographic in many European countries, hearing aids are big business. One in three people over 50 has hearing problems, but only 20% of them actually wear hearing aids. That's a lot of potential and enough work for decades. Audi Bene started up in 2012 and already employs 350 people in Berlin alone. First of all, you need to get your doctor to check your hearing. They are advising potential customers, discussing the various options and whether they might be eligible for a free device. It's not an easy job. Many people find it difficult to admit their hearing isn't up to scratch. Staff get commission on their sales and even occasionally a gong. And the team award for this week goes to Lynn's team. Worldwide, Audi Beni employs 800 staff in nine countries. Profits are being ploughed back into the expanding company. Most people featured on their website are youthful looking. The kind of people who wouldn't want anything to do with dated devices, but would like sleek, inconspicuous aids. Ones that can even be completely concealed in the ear. Basically, this is about the holy grail of eternal youth. The generation we encounter are baby boomers who are still very active and often still working. And now they're confronted with the annoying fact that they can't hear so well in some loud environments. This customer also bought his hearing aid online. Now he's getting the device adjusted by an expert. Torsten Marquardt always wears his hearing aid, no matter where he is. It's almost invisible. He can also use it like very expensive headphones. He regulates the music using an app on his smartphone. He doesn't see it as an accessory for oldies. I don't get the feeling that people around me perceive it as a device for old people. If you get your smartphone out and show people you can listen to music with it, then everyone immediately thinks that it's pretty cool. When he wants to listen to what's going on around him again, he has to reset the device. Thanks to this new technology, having impaired hearing is no longer a problem for 29-year-old Torsten Marquardt.